Well, Gene and Art, I've got the perfect bat for that home run. It is really incredible when you stop and think about what goes in to making a bat like the one here in my hand. You see all this wood back here? Well, that's hand-picked, hand-selected. It has to meet really a tough criteria by the MLB. Once it gets to a bat company like this, it's then brought to a machine like here, and we saw firsthand today how that machine can transform it into a home run engine. We're a very small company. We're a small custom boutique. And yeah, a lot of people do not realize that we're right here and we are making bats for Major League Baseball. This is the sound of wood transforming into a baseball bat. It happens in real time on Houston's northwest side inside OTW Bat Company. OTW stands for over the wall. We came up with a new finishing process, a proprietary finishing process that we felt would make the service of the bat harder. Everybody's looking for hardness. Everybody wants that, that exit speed. Everybody wants that contact point and that ball to just drive off the barrel and, and, and what, what we call in our industry pop. They want to hear that pop. As we witnessed firsthand today, making a bat is a fine science. It starts with the right wood. It comes to us in this form. It's called a billet. I'm going to pull a billet out. The bat is custom built to player specifications. This is OTW's fourth year in business. This season, 60 major league ball players swung their bats at some point including someone H-Town knows pretty well. This year, we had about four guys in the Astros off and on this season. Fortunately, we've, we've, we're finishing off with U Yuli Gurriel. The Astros' third baseman helped bring home a win Sunday night, swinging a bat made right here in Harris County. It's so surreal. Um, you know, we're very fortunate and very blessed to be a part of this game. Uh, you know, we've always been a fan of the game. And when we started this company and were able to get involved with baseball, it took us from being a fan of the game to actually being directly involved with the game. Steve Campion. 13 Eyewitness News.